Thank God I stayed in my pajamas today. Well, this next one is a bit controversial. I don't know what the hell is going on. Look at those. Whew. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope that my channel for some people can be some kind of escape um, and distraction from what is going on in the rest of YouTube because it has been pretty wild. Also, uh, if I look like trash, it's because I am. <laughs> it's because I feel it. It's just not been a very good week. If you guys follow me over on my Insta stories, you will have seen that I had a massive eczema flare up, mostly around my eyes, which is why I'm not wearing any eye makeup right now. All I've got on my face is some tinted moisturizer and a little bit of brow product. And thank you guys so much for all of your recommendations over on my Instagram. I've been trying everything. <laughs> but today, I thought I would just sit down, open some packages, because I asked for suggestions of video ideas I could do where it doesn't require me putting makeup on. But I thought what I would do instead is show you guys a bunch of makeup that is like new in stuff that I've received recently. This stuff was very kindly gifted to me by these brands. But also I've decided that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned to the end to figure out how to enter because I'm sure there's gonna be a hell of a lot of stuff in here that I personally can't use all of it. So basically anything that I'm not gonna use and think could go to a better home, I'm gonna be giving away to one of you guys. And so all of that stuff I'll be putting into a box throughout this video and I'll like explain how you enter at the end I guess. It's just been one of those weeks where everything just keeps going wrong but um yeah let's chill let's have a chat let's open some packages and also just a little reminder my skinny dip collection drops tomorrow at 6 p.m uk time on the skinny dip website I'll leave a link down below where you can sign up to the newsletter also as well if you haven't seen my instagram stories there is a little new addition, which is a phone case that matches this jumper, which is extremely exciting. We didn't think this was gonna be possible because of Corona, but it is pulled through at the last minute. So this is available in time for launch. So that is all very exciting. But anyway, let's just get into the unboxing. I just feel really weird. I just don't feel like myself at the moment. <laughs> so please bear with me. Obviously I'm incredibly grateful for all of this stuff. So thank you to all of the brands that have sent out these bits um, for me to try and I do think it's a bit mad to be honest because I'm sure there are many more people in the world that could do with this stuff other than me. But that's why I've decided to give some of it away. I am just gonna kick off with the top of the pile, I guess. So this one is from Ofra. What are you? This is one of the midi palettes. This is the Sweet Electric Midi Palette, which is $29 on the Ofra website, available 2nd of July, so that's tomorrow. Okay, that looks so gorgeous. It's got Blissful Highlighter, Crazy Pink Blush, and then it's got the Cocoa Bronzer. I've also got a different version of this palette, which has got a mini, um, I can't remember what minis are in it, but it's got another like bronzer, blush, and highlighter, which is absolutely gorgeous. However, the Blissful Highlighter is a bit too dark for my skin tone. Um, I don't know if you can see there, when it like shifts in the light, you can see that it is a slightly darker pink. So I am gonna be putting this one into the giveaway, but I absolutely love Ofra's highlighters in particular. They are just stunning. Also, can we please just ignore the patchy fake tan on my wrists? It's just been one of those weeks, okay? And I do actually have a discount code on Ofra's website. It is an affiliate code. I can't remember what it is. I think it's just so f I'll put it on the screen, um, but in case you guys are interested, if you're not interested, that's totally fine. Moving on. The next box that I have is from Barry M. This is Barry M X Anna Lingus, who I think is like an Instagram makeup artist, or not even necessarily just an Instagram makeup artist. Let's have a look. Oh, Barry M's lead makeup artist, Anna Lingus, is launching an exclusive Barry M X Anna Lingus collection. She is so stunning. So there's an eyeshadow palette, which is $9.99, some eye foils that are $5.99, and the mascara is also $5.99. That is a good price. So the eyeshadow palette looks like, oh my God, that is so pretty. That is so affordable as well, $9.99. Okay, I think I do actually wanna test this one in a video. Also, Barry M is apparently cruelty-free, which I didn't realize. Maybe I should do like a full face of drugstore, new drugstore makeup. Okay, I mean, the shades seem decently pigmented. Haven't put them on my eyes yet, so I can't really comment. And I did just swatch three matte shades. Don't look too spectacular on my hands, but I'm sure on my eyes it will be a different story. When my eyes are actually back to normal and I can start filming makeup videos again. There are two eye foils. One of them is more of like a ready copper color and one of them is a gold. I think I'm gonna put the ready copper one into the giveaway because I've got others which are very similar and the gold one, I'm just gonna open. Let's give you a swatch. Oh, wait a second. Can you see that? It's not just gold. It's almost like pink with, um, a slight duochrome. What color even is that? It's like pink and gold. That actually looks really, really stunning. I 
Kingsbury M. The next package that I have is from Benefit. This is their new Gimme Brow plus jumbo edition i have mentioned on my channel like a couple times you're probably like yes yeah, so for me no um i'm actually oh i've just smudged that uh eyeshadow all over my leg oh thank god i stayed in my pajamas today uh, yeah i have mentioned this in a couple videos before i am actually one of benefits brow heroes currently at the moment so i kind of am working with them on a monthly basis just to be like fully um transparent but they have just launched a jumbo version of gimme brow which is actually just this is all I've got on my eyebrows today. I just like run a little bit through. I wear the shade three. Sometimes I do wear shade four if I'm wanting to go like a little bit darker. So this is the little family. There is a mini Gimme Brow Plus, which is super tiny, like a little travel version. And in this one, you get 1.5 grams. In the regular size, you get three grams. And in the jumbo size, you get six grams. So you actually get like double the amount of product in the jumbo one than in the regular one. And if you're not familiar with Gimme Brow, I'm sure you've seen it before it's just got a tiny little brush and it's a tinted brow gel so it just kind of adds a bit of extra fullness to your brows makes them look extra fluffy adds a little bit of a tint to them if you don't want to go too heavy with your brows you can literally just run this through like i have done today it gives them a little bit of tint also kind of like fluffs them up a bit but yeah they now have oh apparently the jumbo size is a limited edition and the jumbo size is available in the shades two three and five i will leave a link down below in case any of you guys are interested but that being said i'm not going to need the mini one because I've already got one of these. So I will put that back in its box and one of you guys can try it. I'll put it in the giveaway. Well, this next one is a bit controversial. I did put this on my story a couple days ago before everything exploded. I've got a package for Morphe. So this is the Maddie Ziegler collection. Is it Maddie Ziegler or Maddie Ziegler? I don't even know. It came with a bag, which I mean, isn't fully to my tastes but it will actually be quite handy for the shopping and the actual collection itself i won't lie it does look cute the eyeshadow palette looks like this it's got her eyes all over it and this is the imagination palette which i have to say on the inside it does look pretty gorgeous because you've got your neutrals and then also you've got a few like fun pops of color there's a bright yellow pink blue purple green like i like the look of this palette i think it looks nice and it's got a mirror and it's not jumbo size. There are some lip and cheek duos. Peach that pops, pink about it, and oh so berry. I'm just gonna open some of these up and see, because I think I'll just keep one of these. Like, I'm not gonna need every single one, am I? This is a dark kind of cheek and lip mousse, so I think I will give this one away. And the gloss is a very lightly tinted purple shade, so that will be in the giveaway. And obviously in terms of the Morphe kind of drama and speculation at the moment, I can't speak on that. I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know what's true and what's not true, so I don't wanna like put statements out there, but there was a rumor that Jeffree Star owns part of Morphe. Whether or not they will come out with a statement about that, like I said, I'm not saying that that's true because I honestly have no idea. Like. I don't even know who to believe at the moment. The other one is very pink. I mean, this is just kind of like a clear gloss with the slight hint of pink in it. And then the cheek and lip mousse is quite a Barbie pink color. So I think that one will also be one that goes in the giveaway. And then there is a peach one, which is definitely my favorite looking out of the three of them. Um, these are just colors that I would tend to go for more often. So I think I will keep that one just in case I am gonna do a testing video with it. Do you guys wanna see a testing video on this? Let me know, I don't even know anymore. And then there's also a face gloss stick called Do Bomb. Kinda just looks like a fat lip balm. Let's give it a swatch. Um, there's no kind of shimmer particles in it. It honestly just feels like a slightly oily lip balm. Confusing. Do you guys want me to test the collection? <laughs> yes or no? Let me know in the comments. This one is heavy. It says on the front, Nails Inc. X Superdrug. So I have a feeling that Nails Inc. might be launching in Superdrug, just to guess. Arrives in Superdrug, launching to July 2020. Okay, is it just me or have they reduced their prices? These nail polishes are nine or eight pounds each. I swear they used to be like 12 pounds. Is that just me being crazy? Oh. Oh my god look at those look at those neon shades oh my goodness so there's some nude shades they've also got nudes for deeper skin tones which i like the look of a lot because obviously like something like this would be a nude on me but this is not going to be a nude 
on somebody with deeper skin tone, this is just going to be like a light pink, you know. But these look gorgeous. So they have some that are 45 second ones, which are supposed to dry really quickly. These look beautiful. I love the look of all three of these shades. These neons though, oh my goodness. The problem is, right, I would put a couple of nail polishes in the giveaway. However, there's restrictions on sending nail polish in the post because they're flammable. I'm probably not going to put them in the giveaway just to be on the safe side. But if you are looking for some... Loving nail polishes. Nails Inc. launching a super drug. I mean, to be honest, for the past, however, probably like a year now, I've only really worn gel on my nails. Um, but when I did used to use regular nail polish, I do really like the Nails Inc. formula, so. Next up, I've got some of NYX's new Epic Wear Waterproof Liquid Eyeliners. I did actually use one of these the other day to do a look that I did on my TikTok and my Instagram, actually. I used the wet one and it was really, really good. They're quite a sticky formula, but it did stay on for a good amount of time and was quite difficult to remove which probably didn't help with my eczema flare up um but no i would definitely recommend using like an oil based cleanser with these they have got your classic black um there's a dark gray and there's a brown the dark gray and the brown i probably won't use so they can go in the giveaway and they also have a white as well like i mentioned but that's already been put away into my makeup drawers they've got a lilac which looks really pretty and they've also got a red oh and if you're wondering what the actual brush looks like it is a skinny um like actual paint on brush it's not a felt tip if you get what i mean but they are super pigmented as you can see i've got a package from yaz may cause cause Metics. Okay, right, there's some information. So the lashes are $8.99, which is a pretty good price. They're available from their own website, from Amazon, and soon launching on Misguided, apparently. Oh, some of the lashes are $7.99. So the 3D Silk Lashes are $7.99, and the Foam Mink Lashes are $8.99. They've also got a Lash Serum, which is $14.99, and a Lash Glue, which is $9.99. Let's open some of these up and have a look. Whoa! Oh my gosh, okay, that was not... So it does look like it comes with a little bit of glue. Um, this style looks super dramatic. I think these ones are a little bit too dramatic for me. So this style is called Milan and they're super long and fluffy. I think I'm gonna put these in the giveaway. Oh, these are cute. These ones are called Miami and these are the faux mink style. Those ones look really pretty actually. I think I might keep those. They're just super wispy, super voluminous. Okay, these ones are called Venice. These are probably the most dramatic yet. Those ones look super full and super fluffy. They do look really pretty, but just by looking at those, I can tell that they'll probably touch my eyebrows. So I'm going to put those in the giveaway. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you like dramatic lashes, Bali, um, this is what these ones are called. Those are huge. These ones are called London and they're a little bit more fanning out at the edges, but these ones look like another pair that I would wear. So I am going to keep those ones. And then the final pair is called Dubai. These ones are a bit shorter and a bit more, again, like they're quite thin on the inner corner and then they go out at the edges. Those look really pretty. Actually, I think I'm going to keep those. Wait, but I don't need to keep three pairs. You know what? Let's also put the London ones into the giveaway. Oh, everything just fell over. Right, moving on. I've just put a load of stuff in my lap so that I don't have to keep bending down. So this one is from Pixie, and this is their midsummer festival um, kind of mini collection that came in a bum bag. Or if you're American, they call these a fanny pack. This says that it's a collaboration with Petra. Wait a sec, is Petra the person who owns the brand Pixie? Am I being really stupid? Because it says, where I grew up in Sweden, midsummer is a summer festival to enjoy the longest day of the year. I'd pick wildflowers while enjoying the magic of family and friends. In the Pixie House, it starts with an all day lunch, followed by games, music, singing and dancing, ending with a midnight swim. Oh my God, wouldn't that be the dream? This year, I would like to share some essentials so that you can be midsummer ready. Lots of love and happy midsummer, Petra. In here, there is a glitter eye quad, which are all blue colors. These look absolutely beautiful, but I do already have some blue glitters. So again, I'm gonna put those into the giveaway. Makeup melting cleansing cloths. That sounds exactly like what I need at the moment. Then there is a mini skin hydration gel, which, ooh, intense moisture gel instantly rehydrates dry skin. I need that at the moment. And then there is a glossy lip maximizer, which is in this bright pink shade. So I think I'm gonna put this in the giveaway. And then you know what as well, I'm gonna put the bum bag and some fake tattoos in there that also come with this because I mean, realistically, I'm probably not gonna use this, but maybe somebody else could make use out of that. Thank you, Pixie. We are getting on to the last bits. So there's a few bits from Sally Hansen. I have used Sally Hansen nail products probably since I was about seven years old. They have sent over their Hard As Nails Advanced Formula, which I used to use all the time because I used to bite the hell out of my nails, believe it or not. Now I just bite the skin on the edges, but I used to like fully bite 
all of my nails off. And I used to use this in the hopes that my nails would magically grow. Um, but obviously, in order for your nails to grow, you need to actually stop biting them so. That's just a nail strengthener. Okay, this says missing your regular nail, nail appointments. Solve your lockdown nail dilemmas with their best selling products. We're also delighted to announce that Coty has launched the Home Beauty Edit, which allows you to purchase Sally Hansen manicure sets that can be delivered within two working days with free postage at www.thehomebeautyedit.com. So if any of you are interested, there you go. They've also put in one of their nail rehab um, strengtheners, which is apparently for severely damaged nails, which my nails are probably quite severely damaged to be honest. And then the last thing is their vitamin E Q. It was a cuticle oil and it's nice. Moving on. Ooh, there's a few bits here from Maybelline. Again, on the theme of at home salon. I see what all these brands are doing. Lash, brows and nails. So they've got their tattoo brow, which you paint on, peel it off, and it gives you eyebrows for like a few days, which is pretty great. This one is in the shade medium brown. I have tried this and it kind of just turned my eyebrows a bit red. It wasn't really my shade, so I'm gonna put this in the giveaway. There is the Lash Lift Mascara, which is okay. It's not my favorite, but actually, you know what? It's actually pretty good. Like, it's not a bad drugstore mascara, but I personally have others that I prefer, but it is pretty decent, to be honest. Again, I'm not gonna use this because I've already got one. Falsies Lash Mask, Overnight Conditioning Mask. Okay, I haven't heard of that one, but I will try it. And then the last thing that they've got is the Superstay 7 Days Gel Nail Color, which again, I'm not gonna put in the giveaway because I don't want the parcel to be like detained. There is three things left. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Ah, this is from Le Mini Macaron. Le Mini Macaron, Macaron. Le Mini Macaron, which I believe it's a gel nail brand. Yes, oh my God, this is exciting. 13 99 each, cruelty free, vegan, and nine free. This is the brand that sells those mini gel USB things where you can do one finger at a time for travel, which I think is very cool. But they've sent over three shades. There's a hot neon pink, a hot, okay, that's not hot. This is like a, a bright neon yellow, which is called Party Babe. The pink is called Con Altura. And there's a shimmery pink, which is called Sugar Crush. So thank you for sending those over. But they've also sent over these, some hand masks and the packaging is adorable. There's Sweet Mandarin, Vanilla Almond and Jasmine Green Tea. Um, you put these on your hands for 15 minutes and they're supposed to like moisturize your hands to the extreme. So I think I am gonna put one of these into the giveaway because I'm sure whoever, is receiving it is gonna need one of these because if you're like me and have been washing your hands like every five minutes because you're paranoid about corona then <laughs> hopefully this will help. So I had a package from Ren Skincare. I actually really like what Ren have done recently. They've basically pledged to be a lot more environmentally friendly, which is great. It is a bit more of a pricey skincare brand, but I've got to say, the things that I have tried from Ren have been really, really good. Um, this is the Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream. Nourishes and combats skin discomfort. Why does that sound exactly like what my skin needs right now? A moisturizer formulated for sensitive skin to help combat skin discomfort that can lead to visible premature aging. The formula replenishes the skin for a renewed healthy glow. Let's see what you feel like. Ooh, it smells kind of botanical and floral, kinda. That feels really smooth. I know it's just a moisturizer and it's not any benefit to you, me swatching it, but it feels really nice, I've got to say. Thank you, Ren. And then the last package that I've got is actually from Boots. And okay, I've done a bit of a boo-boo here because I opened this and I've taken out one of the masks and I've already put it like in my bag. But Boots are selling reusable face mask and 100% of the profits are going to NHS charities together the BFC Foundation Fashion Fund and the Wings of Hope Children's Charity. Pretty much got three different designers, Liam Hodges, Julian McDonald, and Rickso to design some, okay, their face coverings, as they say on here. And then the actual face masks themselves, this is the Rickso one, which is pretty cute looking. It's just got flowers and love hearts on it. This one is the Liam Hodges face mask and then the Julian McDonald one. I'm really sorry I've left it in my handbag, but it was like a yellow and green snake skin. Hello. And they are adjustable as well. So you just like thread these and they do have a bit of bendy wire in them so you can kind of fit them around your nose. But obviously make sure if you are wearing a face covering, oh my God, I feel like I'm doing a flight attendant thing. Have it covering your nose. If you're wearing a face mask like this, 
you're doing it wrong. It needs to cover your nose as well. Ideally not your eyes, but a lot of them do because my face is pee head. But Boots also sent over some of their makeup products. They have been slaying it with the brands that they've got recently. They've sent the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara, which I'm very excited to try. Would you guys want to see a full face of black owned beauty brands? Let me know. Is that something you want to see? Obviously once my eyes are deciding to be normal. Doll Beauty Lashes in Brandy XL. They look beautiful. There is the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Gel, which I think I'm gonna put in my giveaway because I don't need another brow product. The Too Faced 24 Hour Shadow Insurance, which is an eye primer. Shadow Insurance, have I tried this one before? Okay, you know what? I did just swatch a tiny bit of that on my hand. It doesn't feel like my kind of eye base that I like, so I am going to put that one in the giveaway. I'm sorry that I just swatched it. There is a Milani highlighter in here, which is in 02 Day Glow. That looks beautiful, but it looks a little bit too dark for me. So again, into the box. And then I believe, I mean, there's a ton of orange paper in here. I think this is the last thing in here. This is the Sleek Major Morphosis eyeshadow palette. So that is what the colours look like. I think my thing with eyeshadow palettes is if I open it, if I don't go, oh, then I'm not going to keep it because I've just got so many. So again, this will be the final thing that goes into the giveaway. <laughs> I think that's it, you know. So if you would like to win this box of goodies, um, let's see, leave me a comment down below with your favorite makeup product at the moment. And also please in your comment, if you have them, please leave any social media handles so that I can contact you because it's just easier to do it that way. If you don't have social media though, that is also fine. Um, just let me know in your comment that you don't have it and we can arrange it another way. I will pick a winner on Friday. Let's do it on Friday. I don't want it to be open for too long. If you guys have got any more questions for me, um, let me know down below with the hashtag a question of the day today's question comes from gabby and she said when everything is back to normal what's the first thing you want to do slash go i want to go and visit my brother um because i haven't seen him in ages since february and i really miss him and he doesn't live near me he doesn't have a car um so yeah it's been a bit tricky to go and see him because obviously i could travel to go and see him but usually if me and my parents were going to visit, we would go for a weekend. Hopefully that's the first thing that I would do. As soon as Airbnb is back up and running or hotels are back up and running or whatever, how about you? Let me know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna end this here. I think my next video is gonna be a bedroom transformation video, which I did start filming a couple of days ago. So my eyes probably look a little bit worse in the next video that's coming. Um, but yeah, I think that is it from me. If you guys wanna get your hands on my Skinny Dip collection, it's launching tomorrow at 6 p.m. And I hope you guys are all okay. I hope you're not too stressed out at the moment. I hope this video was some kind of escape for you and I will see you in my next video.